Hey gang, how's it going? Matthew here from that show. We are at Blizzard World Comic Con again. I think it's Blizzard 5. And I got my big going a meep shirt on. You know how meepers do. Meepers is always meeping, man. Meepers gotta meep. So I'm here to do some meeping at the Comic Con. It's the fifth one that they've done. This is a smaller one, but they do a good job. And there's lots of cool stuff in there. Lots of cool uh, geeky stuff to geek out. I brought a little bit of cash, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna do it upright. Hopefully, get to see some people, talk to some folks. Here we are. This is World Comic Con. Let's check this place out. He's a YouTuber, he's a YouTuber, what's your channel dude? Blocky Productions, P-R-O-U-D, Productions with a duck, like. Oh. Right on. Yeah. Wacky Productions with a duck. Yeah, like with like, but Productions is spelled like now, pro duck. Your face is green. Yeah, I'm supposed to be Beast Boy. Beast I'm Boy. I'm supposed to be Raven, but I don't have my costume on. But did you yeah. guys get in for free though? Yeah. Because you're wearing the costumes? Well, that's all that counts then. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> I think those are some sweet spots to put the stickers. Oh, cool. So you saw my video and you came because of my video? Yeah, and just because it's right by. That's where awesome, I live. dude. What's your name, man? Um, I'm Jameson. Jameson. How's it going, Jameson? Would you like a sticker? Good. Sure. Yeah, have you had a good time here today? Yeah, so far. Is this your dad here? Yep. Hey, Dad. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> now, now, this is a cool dad right here bringing this kid to some <laughs> Comic Cons. That's awesome. I'm going to give you guys some stickers here, real quick. Awesome. <laughs> trying to revive the pulp dime store novel okay. and bring it into the 21st century and we are doing that through our patreon which has streaming short fiction every week and it is written by a local authors you got science fiction fantasy historical fiction action adventure you can find it all at six semper serpent check it out a dime store novel yeah, uh, those came from the early 20, 20th century. Um, there were a lot of things we're able to sell for a dime at dime stores. That's kind of what they, it's kind of like the dollar store is today. Um, except, you know, when the dime would actually go a lot further. They were famous for having these really, like, high fantasy or other crazy hard fiction works that they would have. So it's like where Isaac Asimov and H.P. Lovecraft and a lot of these other science fiction fantasy writers from the early 20th century came from that pulp tradition. Cool. So we write in that hard genre style of sci-fi or a mystery or noir or something like that. I'm a simple man, don't want a complication, complication. I've been doing cons probably for a little over a year now. Yeah, a little over a year. That's um, really cool, man. Oh, well, thank you. I love it. Yeah, me and my wife, we, uh, we're fans of a lot of different things. Um, it started off with just a fandom of like comic books, and from there, it pretty much just evolved to doing artwork for like TV shows and um, just different things. I love animation. Um, some of our favorite things, Game of Thrones. Um, oh gosh, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty's been a big part of my life. Um, even it's like a Trailer Park Boys commission for somebody, which was interesting. Um, that was actually been really popular. Um, I've grown into like uh, doing things for different people when they request it, um, especially like uh, Pokemon, a lot of anime, manga, um, and uh, yeah, just keep going from there. I always take requests and I always take suggestions. I like to say that you know, celebrate your fandom, whatever you really love. Yeah. Just you know, and um, so I, whenever I'm at a con, I always ask people, you know, what do you look for? What are you a fan of? Yeah. Um, you know, what what gets you going? And uh, I always make a list and uh, start writing things up. I got everything from, oh boy, um, the 90s tunes, ones that I did was actually a suggestion from someone. All right. Um, and then some people want me to do some 80s tunes ones. Yeah. And then <laughs> I think there's some pretty bizarre ones out there. Some of them I can't really get into because I don't know that they're safe to talk about. <laughs> sure. but, uh, but yeah, there's some definitely some very interesting ones out there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right on, yeah. 
Yeah, that's cool. A pink and white version of Harley Quinn for Valentine's Day. And since it's cool. right after Valentine's Day, I figured, why not? Why not? Perfect timing. <laughs> Bits and pieces from different places, and I've altered them myself. Okay. So. Uh, I love this one here. Oh, my Celine from Underworld. I actually threw the corset together for that the night before the con. Oh really? <laughs> Very bad idea. <laughs> yeah. But it was still a lot of fun. That was actually my first corset that I got to put together. Did, so. did it break or something? No, it was just there's a lot of pieces to it because of all the um, in, like sewing in the front. Yeah. So the inside, I ended up not even putting a liner inside of it. Oh. Like you don't want to see what it looks like in the inside. <laughs> this is a Ninja Turtle one here, right? Yes. That's awesome. I have been obsessed with Ninja Turtles since I was very, very small. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, I just bought one. <laughs> and this is the Hubster. Yeah, this is the husband. There's the hub Hubster here. How's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> JJ. JJ, nice to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you. Now, you're, you're, do you help with any of the costumes too? or? Not really. It's just her thing, huh? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I just hear you guys just add, add it to the family. Yep. Yep. We just, had, cool. we just had a little boy the day before Thanksgiving. Congratulations. Thank you. Alright, take a look around here. And all kinds of cool stuff. These places are great to find good discount, like comic books, the artists. I'm gonna spend more time kind of talking to the artists this time around. A lot of times they do a lot of the comp cosplayers, but this time around I think we're gonna do more of the artists and stuff because because they don't get a lot of uh, you know airtime on my show, I've noticed. So <laughs> I'm gonna give the artists more airtime today. Hey, so I watched you on YouTube and you're a testament to this show, so you're an asset. Awesome, thanks dude. Deadpool meets Caddyshack. Yep. <laughs> Is that a groundhog? That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. Yeah. And then just gravity and heat 
over time okay. it bends it into the shape. So okay. Okay. another nine and a half hours. So wow. it's like so there's some serious time and work put into each one of these. Is what you're saying? Yeah. I said both. This is pretty happy with those. Samir actually did uh, the rest of it along with my buddy Heidi and a couple other illustrators and stuff. So it's all kid friendly, all, all ages, plus it's all Minnesota made. We print right out of Egan, Minnesota. I'm based about two miles from here in South, South Minneapolis, so it's all local. Very cool. So yeah, man. Updated some new builds, new power ups. So we're getting people's opinion on the new, the new build and the new cabinet, and just having a lot of fun. That's amazing. Nosferatu. This is where I got my Nosferatu thing. It's amazing.
kind of comics do you guys like? Do you guys collect comics? If so, who's your favorite comic book artist? Who's your favorite comic book dealers? Um, or, yeah, artists, writers. Who's your favorite comic book character out of the DC world? Who's your favorite comic book character out of the Marvel world? And then who's your favorite comic book character out of any other comic book world? And there's a lot of them. Of course, mine is Wolverine. He's one of my favorites. And of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mikey, he's my, one of my faves. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. This is awesome, you guys. I just found a welcome back Cotter <laughs> comic book. Number one. Welcome back Cotter. This is so crazy. We've got John Travolta there. Black Bjorn. Bjorn, right? Yep, Bjorn. Bjorn, thanks for having me, thanks man. Thanks for coming. It's a good time. Awesome. Guy puts on a good con here, so good luck on the other ones you put on. Come on, hey. And definitely come check him out. Blizzard. Blizzard World. Blizzard World Con. All right, man. Thanks. Good to see you. See ya. Take care, man. Take my merch, we're heading out. Alrighty, gang, well, thanks for watching this episode. I think, how do we get out of here? Whoops, whoops, whoops. I will show you all the cool stuff I got. Uh, once we get back into the Mac Cave. Ready? Let's do this. Boom! What's up, guys? I'm back in the Mac Cave. Show you my merch. Check this out. Look at this. This is the first one I want to show you I got. Pretty cool. I really like his take on the turtles. They got a lot of personality, a lot of character. It's cool. They don't, they don't look like the turtles that are in the new movies or the earlier movies. Or even the cartoons, they got like a different take on it. They just, I, but I really like it. They look really cool. A lot of good character in there. That's what's cool when you get these, you know, independent artists doing some of this stuff. You just get a different take on it, and some of it you like, some of it you don't. This one I, I, I really like. Digging it. I'm digging Mikey's face in this too. Check out Mikey's face in this. Cause Mikey's always seen as like the party dude, right? So he's always up for a good party. Well, like Mikey in this one is just ready to kick some serious boot necks. I think um, Jamie was the dude who did this one, so thanks Jamie, this was awesome. I also got these dudes from the same artist, R2-D2, C-3PO. These guys are just buds. You know, how can you not love R2-D2 and C-3PO? Just doing life together, man. Just taking a family photograph like it's their Christmas card. And these, these were the droids I, I was looking for. Those were the droids I was looking for. And because I bought two colored uh, pictures, artworks, I got this one for free. So he gave me this one for free. So that's pretty cool. It's of course Harley Quinn. I like it. I thought he captured her pretty good too. She's just something so wrong with Harley Quinn, man. But you kind of you gotta love her though. This here though, this might be the favorite, my favorite thing that I got at the place, and I think it was only a few, couple bucks. Original Nosferatu artwork. This is cool. Nosferatu. <laughs> this thing is cool. His eyes are just spooky in this. Or Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Nosferatu or Nosferatu. Dope. And then I had to geek out a little bit and I had to get a Mikey. I did. I, I got a Mikey thing. Because Mikey's my favorite. And he gave it to me for five bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal. Because every time I see these guys, they're like 20 bucks at least or more. So. And he comes with nunchucks and a pizza. Which, you gotta love that. That's, anything says the Mad Cave, it's nunchucks and pizza. But also, the reason I had to get this is let me, this for this reason right here. Watch this. Here he goes. Wait for it. So I got two Mikey things. I got this Mikey thing and I got this Mikey thing. My little hat here. My hat was only five bucks too. And Mikey will go in the Matt Cave here, hang out. So again, thanks for joining me on this episode of Matt's Red Show, guys. Please like, subscribe, share the video with your community, with the people you hang out with. And um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Kind of a cool different uh, Comic-Con uh, episode, I think, because I talked to more of the artists and stuff. There wasn't a ton of cosplayers at this event, but there's still a lot of cool artists. And it was kind of cool just to talk to them and get to know them more because if without the artists, there'd be no characters for the Comic-Con uh, for, for the cosplayers to dress up as. So, 
So, I mean, you gotta thank the artists. And you never know, any of those artists out there could create the next blockbuster comic book character. I mean, or put their magic spin onto it that just takes it that much higher. So thank you artists for what you guys do. I appreciate artists so much. You guys are you guys are the real MVPs of this whole Comic-Con world. So thank you guys for everything you do. Uh, that's it for this episode of the Master Red Show, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me and my meepers. Meepers gotta meet, man. So all you meepers out there that are meeping, let's go ahead and meet, because meeping is all right. Meeping is cool with me, man. So. Send me a uh, self-addressed stamp envelope and I will send you some Matt's Red Show stickers. Uh, everybody I saw today that said hi to me that knew me from my show or something, um, or was just kind of cool, I gave him a sticker. Um, if I saw you and I didn't give you a sticker, sorry, I, I probably should have, I would have, if I would have thought of it in the moment. I just tried to give a bunch of them away. So, Matt's Red Show, another comic con episode is in the books. How does that make for me, these comic book conventions? Which is where Matt's Red Show all started. Back, 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 back in the day at MegaCon in Orlando, Florida. So, love you guys. Have a great day. And uh, that's all I got for today. Ba boom What was that about? Ba boom I kind of like that. Ba boom Maybe that'll be what I do at the end of all my shows. Probably not. I'm gonna shut up now and say goodbye. Love you guys.